Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. I want to talk to you about something that's been long rumored and now Google has officially announced it. Calling from Gmail. Now, first let me preface this by saying this is not Google Voice. You can still, Google Voice is still a separate thing. You can still request a phone number and do all the calling from Google Voice and texting as well. But calling from Gmail integrates a little bit, but it's separate. So basically, we've had video, we've had a uh, voice chat as well as text chat inside Gmail with your buddies for a while now. The problem is, uh, if you want to do a voice chat with somebody, computer to computer through Gmail, that works. But people aren't always at their computers, obviously. They're out and about, doing other things. But a lot of times, and particularly for me, I always have my phone on me. So, now the idea is to ex expand that voice chat network. So now you can make calls to landlines or mobile phones right inside of Gmail. Now for the rest of the year, calling uh, to the United States or to Canada is going to be free and calling internationally is going to cost as little as two cents a minute and it works its way up uh, depending on what country you're calling and if it's mobile or landline uh, and this will be rolling out within a few weeks uh, in the United States and it will be rolling out in, uh, in other places including Canada uh, in, the, in the near future now I said this integrates a little bit with Google Voice if you have a Google Voice number you can obviously it'll be linked to your Google account so then when you send outgoing calls the caller ID will show your Google Voice number and when people call that Google Voice number it will simultaneously ring the phone that you have set up and your computer so if you're in Gmail you can see and you can answer the phone call from there so it gives you another outlet in um, if you're using Google Voice if you happen to use that service now um, what I think is most interesting about this is that it's temporarily free in the United States um, that's really a cool feature and it really is interesting when you consider where does this leave Skype? Skype, you know, you have Skype out and you can pay money and call from your computer to mobile phones, landlines, whatever. Um, but if you can do this with Google and Gmail and you get your own phone number and it looks to be less expensive based on the currency charts that I've seen, it really puts Skype in a hard place, especially because even if it was equal to Skype, Google, I think, um, even though they're not the incumbent, would have the advantage just because of how big the company is. But I think this is going to be a little bit less expensive and will integrate much easier um, with people that aren't new, that are new to the experience. Because with Skype, you create a new account, you know, you do that. But a lot of people have Google accounts, so to get started with this is really just a part of the service that they already use. So that's just my opinions on that. I think it's going to be really tough for other VoIP competitors uh, to meet with Google, to beat Google. And this is just another thing. I wrote a blog post on michaelsherlock.com about Google controlling you. If you haven't seen that, go check it out at michaelsherlock.com. But I think, excuse me, this is kind of uh, ties into that because now Gmail is becoming a hub for all your social interactions. And on one hand, it's good because everything's aggregated to one place. But on the other hand, now Google has the email addresses of the people you talk to. Now they have the phone numbers. And now, who knows, they could be recording it, too, or listening in. We don't know. I don't think they would do that. I'm not saying they're targeting you or you um, or me. I'm just saying that it's a little bit, uh, just move forward with some caution, putting all of your information into one basket. Because even if there's nothing wrong with Google, if something were to be compromised, a hacker or whatever, to get into Google, all your information is in one place for them to get at. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. What do you think about Gmail calling? Is it a feature you think you'll use? Or are you just going to stick with uh, standard email and SMS? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Again, I'm Michael Sherlock. One thing before I go. If you're this far in the video, you are a loyal subscriber, a loyal viewer. So head on over to YouTube.com slash Michael Uncensored for some new content, non-technology related from me, just some stuff that impacts me. Uh, right now, there's one video up about late night comedy, and there'll be more videos coming up in the future. So again, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.